Our next subject is mechanical safety. For mobile stations, we need to make sure that all equipment is mounted securely. All equipment needs to be located where it can be operated safely while driving. This is not the way to do mobile. Antennas need to be located so that they will be clear of trees and power lines when being raised and lowered. If the antenna falls, you want to make sure that it will not hit anyone or come in contact with power lines. In addition, towers need to be properly grounded. A good rule of thumb is that if your tower or mast and antenna fall, that they should not come any closer than 10 feet from power lines. When it comes to climbing towers, there are four key requirements. Hard hats, eye protection, a climbing harness, and don't climb a crank up tower supported only by a cable. If the cable breaks, your hands and feet will likely be immediately amputated as the tower contracts. Safe tower climbing requires common sense, such as never working alone. A gin pole is a device that attaches near the top of a tower used to haul up heavy items, such as the next section of tower, the rotator, and the antenna. This is an example of what we do not want to happen to either the tower or to you. And now let's talk about hazardous material safety. You want to stay away from PCBs, a known carcinogen. PCBs can be found, sometimes found in transformers and capacitors. Older ham equipment may contain oil-filled capacitors that need to be replaced and disposed of properly. Beryllium and beryllium oxide are both very hazardous and can be fatal. Beryllium is alloyed with copper to stiffen springs, and beryllium oxide is an insulator found in some transistors and vacuum tubes. The solder that we use in electronics is lead and tin based. A good practice is to wash your hands after soldering. Generators require operation in a well-ventilated area since their exhaust contains carbon monoxide. Here are some sample questions. What, if any, are the differences between the radiation produced by radioactive materials and the electromagnetic energy radiated by an antenna? The answer is C. Radioactive materials emit ionizing radiation, while RF signals have less energy and can only cause heating. When evaluating RF exposure levels from your station at a neighbor's home, what must you do? B. Make sure signals from your station are less than the uncontrolled MPE limits. Which of the following would be a practical way to estimate whether the RF fields produced by an amateur radio station are within permissible MPE limits? The answer is C. Use an antenna modeling program to calculate field strength at accessible location. When evaluating a site with multiple transmitters operating at the same time, the operators and licensees of which transmitters are responsible for mitigating overexposure situations. Each transmitter that produces 5% or more of its MPE exposure limit at accessible locations. What is one of the potential hazards of using microwaves in the amateur radio bands? The high gain antennas, answer B, commonly used can result in high exposure levels. 
Why are there separate electric E and magnetic H field MPE limits? Answer D. All of these choices are correct. How may dangerous levels of carbon monoxide from an emergency generator be detected? Answer B. Only with a carbon monoxide detector. What does SAR measure? Answer C. The rate at which RF energy is absorbed by the body. Which insulating material, commonly used as a thermal conductor for some types of electronic devices, is extremely toxic if broken or crushed and the particles are accidentally inhaled? Answer C. Beryllium oxide. What material, found in some electronic components such as high voltage capacitors and transformers, is considered toxic? Answer A. Polychlorinated biphenyls. Which of the following injuries can result from using high power UHF or microwave transmitters? Answer C. Localized heating of the body from RF exposure in excess of the MPE limits. Your homework assignment is to read chapters 2 and 3 and to answer the study questions that you see listed here.